What is going on everybody and today I am here with possibly the most annoying challenge I'm going to do on my channel this season in NBA 2K18 and that is accepting every trade challenge with the Golden State Warriors. So if you guys don't already know what this challenge is, if you haven't been a fan on my channel or like been here for a while, it's a series I actually I think was the first YouTuber to ever upload. It's pretty much, you know how you get a trade request like like teams will offer you say I have Kevin Durant, be like we'll give you Rudy get for Kevin Durant and you just get some dumb trade offer. I have to accept every trade for the first two seasons. And then in the third year, I have one year to rebuild the team back up from wherever we're at. In the offseason, I can do whatever we want. Say I sign LeBron James in the offseason. And then the Wizards go, yeah, we'll give you auto Porter for LeBron James. I have to do it. So it's going to be a rough video. But if you guys do enjoy these, if you already know what they are, let's see if this will get over 1,500 likes. And if you guys want me to do another one, maybe with the Cavs, let me know in the comments. Or we can do it with an all-time team. That would be interesting. Say it through, like, the all-time Lakers in here or something like that. Like, a really good all-time team. And we just see that happen. So that would be pretty cool to see so let me know in the comments if you guys would want to see that so here we are let's just start simulating i'll probably cut in like mostly in and out but i want to give it i want to see if we can get the first trade on camera if you guys saw i did turn trade frequency on all the way up to 100 here's the first trade we were trading igudawa and draymond green for paul Millsap and gary harris okay this trade could be a lot worse it's obviously we're being we're losing the trade because green is better than Millsap, and i'd rather have iggy than gary harris but it's not the end of the world. It could be a lot worse. But welcome to the team, Paul Millsap. That's new. Um, now we are 1-3 and three to start off the year, which is weird. I wonder if we're going to still win it all. Okay, but we're trading Gary Harris for a first-round pick. All right, an unprotected first-round pick. Hopefully, they're bad. Uh, we're getting Wade Baldwin, who means nothing. But, hey, we're going to have a top-five pick, hopefully, as long as the Grizzlies do bad. But, um... Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep simulating here. Guys, wait. But I don't know if you saw, like, a face cam, like, on the thing. I think I accidentally, like, in my Elgato, went on, like, a face cam on my program. So, I'm sorry if that was a little awkward or cringy. I apologize. That was weird. No, we're trading the go JaVale McGee for James Young. The Bucks are capitalizing, seeing that we are accepting every trade. So, teams are just throwing bad trades left and right. But, yeah, uh, I apologize. That was really weird. I just noticed that. And I was like, what the hell is this blue thing around my Elgato software? And it was that. So, we are trading Sean Livingston for Langston Callaway. Definitely losing that trade. Well, knock on wood, we haven't had to trade KD, Curry, or Clay yet. But I feel like we're going to have to trade Clay soon. But we'll see. Uh, Curry, Clay, or KD. And then, honestly, Paul Millsap, we're probably going to get a trade for him soon. But we'll see. So I'll see you guys probably with the next trade that happens. All right, guys. So we are trading Paul Millsap to the 76ers for Dario Sarch and JD Redick. So it's actually not that bad of a trade. I feel like we're actually getting maybe the better part of it. And uh, that took a while to load because we're getting a good shooter off the bench now. And we're getting Sarch who can start a power forward who isn't much worse than Paul Millsap in this game. Um, and by the end of this video, he'll probably be a higher overall because he'll go up to like an 86, 87. And Millsap's probably going to start regressing soon. Uh, the simulation this year in this year's game is very slow, which I kind of hate. I'd rather get a game that's quickly simulating, like, where I can get to, uh, seasons done with, because you guys can kind of see how slow the simulation is this year. It sucks. Guys, we are so blessed. I actually, uh, forgot to tell you guys, I turned off trade deadline, so we could have got trades all season long, but we didn't get anything for the big three, well, the bi highest three overalls in, I think, Clay's higher than Draymond, in Clay. Steph and KD, so it's pretty dope there. Um, I don't really care about the NBA teams. We go 58 and 24. I think we're still gonna win it all as the Warriors. The Rockets actually beat us out, which actually is pretty uh funny, but we'll see uh if we can beat them. This is what the stats were. If you guys want to pause and see, uh, JJ Reddick there, Sarge's numbers. The bench is still eh, but in the offseason, I think Kevin Durant's a free agent, so we're gonna see if we have enough money to bring him back. If not, uh, prepare to, I don't know, see maybe a rehaul here, but we're going to just simulate the playoffs, see if we win it all, and we are about to lose to the Thunder. We lose in six games to the Thunder, so that is actually really shocking, um, which kind of sucks, so we don't win it all, which is going to mean I have to um, win a championship now for the first time in probably the last year, because I bet you we're going to get offered a trade for Steph or KD or um, Clay. So let's go to league meetings here. Oh, I forgot to turn league meetings off. So let's reject that. And now let's just go straight to, I think, the NBA draft. I don't really care if, uh, I'm pretty sure we still have Steve Kerr. Uh, we're going to have really no draft picks uh, that are high. Actually, the Grizzlies pick ended up being seventh. So we actually traded, who was that for the seventh pick? Did we end up trading Paul Millsap for the seventh? No. What was the trade where we got the seventh pick? Um, Grizzlies traded, no. Grizzlies traded. The Grizzlies made a lot of trades this year. Uh, I'm trying to find the trade. Uh, oh, it's for Gary Harris. Yeah, so we got it the seventh pick for Gary Harris. That is actually not that bad. So, is there anybody making too much money now? Jordan Bell. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm trading Langston Galway. Uh, we don't need him. So, a first round pick for future first or first round pick, not a first or what the hell did I just say? I think I meant to combine future and first. 
Uh, we got a first round pick from the Jazz. So we have the 7th and 29th. If I could trade the 29th and the 7th, can I move up to 5? Let's see. Uh, will the Lakers do this? They want a top 3 pick for P.J. Tucker, who I don't want. Uh, but if getting top 5 would be nice. I'll give you 2 seconds. And they don't want to do that. Alright, so I'll throw you a 2019 first and... Yeah, that's it. All right, so we have the fifth pick in the NBA draft. I will see you guys at rookie signings with who I took. All right, guys, so we got our new center for next year, DeAndre Aiden, but I uh, fully expect him to be gone by next year because I bet you someone's going to trade for him. So we're going to bring back Sarge. Uh, Looney, why not? All right, I hope I can bring back Kevin Durant. I don't know if it's going to let me. Like, I don't know how, like, bird rights in this game is so weird with the whole moratorium thing and, like, how you agree before. It's it's weird. Um, we can actually, we actually have enough to sign KD, which is cool. Uh, even though we don't have bird rights on him, which freaking sucks. But I'm not going to give him no trade cards because that will kind of defeat the purpose. But we are his number one deal. Um, and hello. <laughs> hello there, Chris Paul on the mid-level exception. Very nice. Okay. Um, let me agree to Kevin Durant. There we go. No, Chris Paul. Are you kidding me? Why? Oh my god. Okay, we could have had him on the team. Mello. All right, Mello is a good second option. Um, to get a mid level exception on. What about Bosch? No, nope, Bosch wants the freaking max. All right. Um, so we get Kevin Durant. How can we get Mello? Oh, we can't go over 5.37 mil. Okay. Uh, good to know. Uh, so I'll offer him that. Where he's number one deal. Now we can get Mel because that uses our mid-level exception up, which is dope. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, can we get anybody else here for cheap? I don't think so. So, yeah, that is pretty much going to be it for me for free agency. Uh, the starting lineup is going to be point guard, Curry, shooting guard, Thompson, small forward, Durant, power forward, probably Mello, and then Aim will be center, and then Sarge is going to be the sixth man. So I'll see you guys at the start of next season when we get our first trade, which is not going to be cool, but we got to have to do it. It's a challenge. Guys, I don't know why, but we're in the middle of February, and I have not gotten a trade off yet. Like, it, it's it's annoying. So what I'm going to do to make this video interesting, because I don't think I'm going to get a trade, which is going to piss me off a little bit, because I, I wanted there to be a challenge. I'm going to trade Kevin Durant and Seth Curry randomly on Trade Finder and pick the worst trade. And I'm honestly going to do Clay Thompson too. Alright, since I'm not getting any trades, I don't know why. Wait, what? Why can't I trade? I turn trade... I don't even know. Alright, I'm so confused. I turn trade logic off, which I guess meant I can't trade. I don't know. I'll turn trade... Oh my god, I thought I did all this stuff. Um, stepping roll off. Um, trade override. Okay, I guess trade logic, maybe I should keep that off. Alright, by April 1st, if I don't get a trade offer, I'm just gonna do what I just said. I'm gonna take Curry, I'm gonna take KD, I'm gonna take Clay, I'm gonna put them in trade finder, and then I'm just gonna hold RT or R2 down, whatever it is on PS4, and then we're going to, um randomly trade them actually you know what uh, i'm gonna do it in like a week so hold on you guys will see me when i'm making the first trade wow simulation this year is just taking forever oh my god why is 2k doing this shouldn't it get quicker as the years go on not slower all right so with kd there's only two trades i could do which is this DeRozan and lowry one or this lowered and mccullum one so i guess i'm just gonna close my eyes and see what we're gonna <laughs> i feel like either hold on maybe let's try curry first uh, I got eight offers. All right, so I don't know which ones are good here. They're all pretty solid, so, but it's obviously a 95 player getting traded. So I'll see you guys, and well, I'm not going to see you. I'm going to, I have my eyes closed. I'm going like, to stop turning it or spinning it in three, two, one. That is the trade. Kemba and Hassan Whiteside. Not bad at all. So we just traded Kemba. Uh, wait, make this trade. Yes. Can I make this trade? What the? Okay, this is a, is this a glitch? Like, I, I'm pressing yes. Am I, like, really dumb here? What am I doing? Am I, am I like, messing up this game? What the hell? Maybe I... Okay, I, I, I don't get 2K. Like, this is weird. Um, And who was it? We went to the Hornets for Kemba and Whiteside. You're not interested now? Really? I'll throw in a first. Alright, screw you. You know what? Screw you, Charlotte. Alright, can we at least try this with Clay and it'll work? Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna stop it in five. Four, three, two, one. That is the trade. Oh, Chris Bosh and Jeremy Lin. Um, I don't really care about the Nets minimum player limit. All right, so we have Jeremy Lin and Chris Bosh. Gross. I'm going to throw up. Could I throw up KD and Curry at the same time? No, it's not going to let me. All right, KD. Two offers. Um, so I guess we're trading KD for, let's stop in three, two, one. Lillard and McCollum. Cool. All right, so we have CJ McCollum and Lillard now, which I guess is upgrades. Uh, so I guess... I don't even know what the rotation is going to be looking like. So now let's trade Curry for hopefully one of these trades and it'll work. And it'll let me trade Curry because I'm going to stop it at three, two, one. 
Nikola Jokic and Draymond Green for Curry and McCollum. Interesting trade. Um, and okay, it finally lets me trade Curry. So here's the new team uh, going into the playoffs. Uh, Jokic, Lillard, Green, Mello, Bosch, Sarge, Holy Power Forwards, Lynn, Aiden, Chasen, Randall, Anthony Brown. So what's the rotation looking like? It's Lillard, Henderson, Mellow, Green, Jokic, uh, Bosch, Sarge, Lynn, Aiden. The bench is amazing. It's just shooting guard sucks. All right, so I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And then the offseason, we could just build a super team off this. But we'll see if this team is still able to win the finals. Guys, well, I guess the accepting every trade challenge is still on. Because now I'm trading Draymond Green for Mike Conley, which is awful. I really did not want to do that trade, but it's going to make it harder. And we have now three point guards in Lynn, Lillard, and Conley. But I guess we didn't really need all those power forwards, which is cool. So, uh, if I get another trade, I'll see you guys and I'll accept it. But I don't know. That was the first trade I got in, like, over a year, which is the weirdest thing. But uh, it, it's 2K. It's obviously going to be weird. All right. Well, now we're trading Mike Conley for Dennis Schroeder, which is even worse. I guess we're picking up Joe Ingles, who's a decent bench piece, over the other guy we traded, I think, who was Jason Randall. Which, all right, I'll take. But that's still, like gross uh no we almost were able to keep deandre aiden but we're trading him for jordan clarkson that sucks all right that actually i'm upset about because aiden was going to be a great setter for us next year making the rookie contract which was beautiful but they had to take him from us so let's finish up this season hopefully with no more trades no knock on wood that i don't have to trade willard hopefully please don't make me trade willard please please or Jokic. All right, Chris Bosch from Malik Monk. I, lo I love this trade. I love this trade. Thank you very much, Charlotte. This is a great trade. All right, hopefully that's the last trade, and we should be done with the season, right? Um, unless someone wants to trade on the last day, but no. We end up getting the third seed in the Western Conference going 54-28. and 28. Uh, Rookie of the Year, Michael Porter Jr., Tedesic, uh, six Man of the Year. Andre Drummond, defensive player of the year. I tried trading for him at one point but with the draft last year, but it just didn't work out. Any Warriors or former Warriors, I guess we could look for. Um, there is a former warrior in Damian Lillard. Here's a current war. No, current war warrior in Damian Lillard. Former warrior in Steph Curry. Former warrior in Kevin Durant. Interesting. Um, yeah. So there we go. Uh, we didn't have any. Actually, did Aiden? Yeah, Aiden made it. Uh, those are the numbers he pretty much put up with us. So we were the three seed. We are taking on the six seeded Trailblazers in the first round, who have Kevin Durant. So that's gonna be a very interesting round one to see who wins but they have no they have the young brothers james and joseph that's actually really funny oh my god three out of the five people in their starting line of last name is young oh my god all they need is like i don't know i'm trying to think more youngs chris young in baseball i don't know many youngs uh off the top of my head but they need them because they got that james and joseph that's so cool i would even be mad if we lost to them oh my god okay uh so we go 54 and 28 here are the stats if you guys want to see. Willard had a good season. So did Jokic. Uh, Melo and Schroeder did well. Monk. There's Lynn Clarkson. We have a lot of guards now. We have three point guards. Um, there's Monk as well. There's Sarge and Ingles. So let's just see what the rotation is. So they want to go Willard, Monk, Melo, Sarge, Jokic, Schroeder, Lynn, Ingles, Clarkson. Sounds good to me. All right. So let's simulate round one against the Trailblazers. We sound just excited for in this offseason. I can make so many moves. And we're about to lose, aren't we? Wow. We lose this by uh, in six games again for the second year in a row, which sucks. All right. Well, I'll see you guys when I'm going to make my first moves of this offseason. And the finals champion is going to go to the Houston Rockets. Guys, I'm trading... Dennis Schroeder, Jeremy Lin, and a first-round pick for Drew Holiday in the fifth pick in this year's draft. So that fifth pick is going to be a dope rookie for us. Now, I'm going to probably trade these three, Ingles, Holiday, and Clarkson, uh, just to see what I can get for these guys. So two first-round picks from Clarkson. Thank you, Philly. That's just going to be worked later in a blockbuster trade, probably. Uh, another trade, we're going to trade Holiday and Ingles quickly, see what we can get. We can pick up the seventh pick in Tony Parker. Thank you. Uh, but now, I want to see if I could pick up, like, pick four. From the wait, that's not pick four, that's a second round pick. Um, who is pick five or six? Let's see if we can move up one pick in the draft. I'll give you Tony Parker and the seventh pick. All right, so we have fifth and sixth pick in this NBA draft. I will see you guys at Ricky Sounds with who I drafted. All right, guys, so with one of the picks, I did take Kosas Anson and Kupo, Giannis's younger brother, who people are saying he's going to be possibly better than Giannis. And I did trade the other pick, the sixth pick, for Miles Bridges, who was drafted last year from Michigan State. What pick was he drafted last year with? Uh, he was drafted with the 12th pick, but he's still pretty good overall, higher than anybody was going to be in that draft. So I'm going to decline Baldwin's and Jones's deal. We're going to bring back... Mm, I'm going to cut some bonuses deal too, to be honest. 3.5, actually, we'll see. Uh, Monk and Sarge, we're going to bring back. So, 
Uh, I don't know who's going to be here in free agency that's going to be good enough for us to sign. We have 13 mil in cap space, which kind of sucks. Uh, we don't even have that much. But if there's somebody on a mid-level exception, maybe, or I don't even know. But free agency time. If LeBron's here, uh, yeah, we can't get him. I don't think we're going to be able to get anybody. There's our old buddy Clay, um, Isaiah Thomas, Jimmy Butler, Marcus Saul. Yeah, we're not going to have enough to get anybody on a mid-level exception or any of these guys on an actual contract, which sucks. But what are you going to do? We have no... Actually, we do have $9 million in a mid-level exception. Nobody wants to come here? LeBron, you don't even want to come here? What? Not even you, Marcus Saul? Really? All right, what about if I traded Sabonis and two first-round picks? Could I get somebody really good that maybe will make Marcus Saul or LeBron want to come here? But let's see. Uh, Derek Rose. Uh, Julius Randle. Interesting. Zach Levine. Should I just do this trade? Screw it. We're getting Derrick Rose and Tristan Thompson on the team. Uh, we still have enough, I think, for a mid-level exception if Marcus Saul or LeBron... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. LeBron James is going to be a member of the Warriors because I guess why not? Um, Marcus Saul could also be a member of the Warriors. I don't mind signing one of them. And we get LeBron James, uh, which is cool. So I should have probably just taken Marcus Saul, to be honest with you. But we get LeBron James. And, yeah, so that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the start of next season uh, to see if we can win a championship with this final roster. And I'll show you guys the rotation. So, here's the team for the final season. We got Damian Lillard, Malik Monk, LeBron, Dario Sarge, Nikola Jokic, Melo, Tristan Thompson, Derek Rose, Miles Bridges, Kosas Antetokounmpo, who's not even going to play. That's how deep this team is. We should win a championship, no problem. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Um, it's crazy to see this team compared to it was in season number one. Mark Spears, NBA.com, think we're going to win it all, but you know what, 2K Sports, I see how it is. We're going to prove you wrong. I'll see you guys at the end of the season when we're about to win a championship. All right, guys, so we ended the season 60-22, and, and we got the one seed in the Western Conference, which was expected with this team. Yeah, whatever, 2K Sports thought we were going to be the eighth seed in the NBA. We had the best record in the NBA. Let's freaking go. We're taking on Kemba in round one. Uh, he was on our team at one point, right? No, I don't think we ever got Kemba. But here are the player stats. If you guys want to see, there's LeBron, there's Melo, there's Lillard, there's Monk, Jokic, Sarge, Rose, Thompson, Bridges, Crawford, and Kostas. So I'm just going to advance, I think, the first two rounds with like just simulating current round. And it's just, okay, we already gave up two losses to them. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. Tell me how. Game one. All right. Game one, we won by four. Game two, we lost by nine. Game three, we lost by seven. We won by seven. Game four, we lost by five. Game s or game five, we lost by four, five in overtime. Game six, we lose by seven. Wow. We didn't even go to seven games and we lost. We lost in sixth and eight seed. All right. Well, apparently, that's just what 2K is going to do to me. I have class in literally 10 minutes. So, that is going to be for me, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys all did enjoy. Let's see this one. Get over 1,500 likes if you guys want to see more. Ooh, Isaiah Thomas from Finals MVP. More accepting all trade challenges. This is one. Um, These were a staple of my channel a couple years ago. I think I tried the first one in 2K16. So, yeah, that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do these with, like, another team. Like, maybe the Cavs or an old-time team. Let me know. That's going to be for me. I love you guys. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.